more Elvis. Yeah. <laughs> Disturbance of the peace. Ah, uh, shucks, officer. We were just sightseeing. You know, looking at the tourist attractions. Jeannie's my house guest. Jeannie, Pete, and Ray. 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 She's been here a week, and we just about walked our little feet off. How would you two like to meet Elvis Presley? How would you like a date with Sophia Loren? Oh, come on, Pete. Are you serious about meeting Elvis? Yes, he is serious. And do you want to meet Elvis or not? We do. All right then, Linda. You know where the Aero Theater is? Be there tonight at midnight. Elvis is showing some movies, and I can get you in. What movies? He happens to be showing karate movies. Oh, great. We're the ones that are going to need karate. The Arrow Theater. At midnight? Be there. OK, see you that night, then. OK. Bye. Nice meeting you. <laughs> Tell him that your Aunt Betty, no, make it your friend Betty, says hello. gonna marry me. I used to say to my father, Daddy, when I grow up, I'm gonna marry you. And if I don't, I'm gonna marry Elvis Presley. <laughs> there it is. It doesn't look like much. What do you want it to look like? A guitar? It's just a movie theater. He only rents it. inside. Come on, let's go on in. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner, Linda Thompson, Miss Tennessee. Excuse me, I'm sorry. All right, who locked the door? Y'all think I wasn't coming or something? What I gotta do, buy a ticket to get in here? <laughs> Okay, Jeff, now you can lock the door. I'm in. Everybody's here. Who's all here tonight, by the way? Hey, honey, how you doing? I haven't seen you in a long time. Hey, Tommy, give me a large butter popcorn. With butter this time, you shorted me last time you read. <laughs> Who else is here tonight? Any new faces? Hey, how you doing, Pete? Boss, I'd like you to meet Jeannie LeMay, Miss Rhode Island. And this here is Linda Thompson, Miss Tennessee. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. I didn't mean to, uh... Excuse me. Nothing like keeping low profile, is there? <clears throat> Remember, he's a married man. You don't have to remind me. I've been reminding myself. He's a married man. He's a married man. He's a married man. You from Memphis? Um, yes, I am. Uh, as a matter of fact, my, my aunt went to high school with you. Um, she says hi, so if, if you ever see her, please tell her I gave you the message. And, and my grandma, who, who lived in the same housing project you did and, and used to listen to you play the guitar, she says hi. And she remembers when you ran away from there. And, and she says she understood completely. And, and my mother, um... Whew. Sounds like your whole family knows me. They should. They grew up on you. Oh, Tommy! 
Tommy, quick! Bring me my Geritol. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I, if I like karate, but, uh, but there are times when I wish I knew karate. I'll bet that's true. I'll bet it's real hard being a beautiful woman. Sometimes it gets a little tricky. Did you grow up wanting to be Miss Tennessee or Miss America? Oh, are you kidding? I sort of want to be a nurse or a nun or priest or something. <laughs> Elvis Presley. <laughs> well, it was the last time I looked. You're a... You're a real southern lady, aren't you? And you think I'm still married, don't you? Aren't you? <laughs> Not hardly. I mean, we haven't released it to the press yet, but uh, we are separated. I mean, what you call the process of getting a divorce. Well, I'm sorry to hear about that, but that's what you get for not marrying someone local. I beg your pardon? Well, you should have married someone local. Someone of your same background, your same roots. You shouldn't have married a Yankee. Oh, I can't believe I said that. I'm sorry. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I can. <laughs> what you just said there is very true. Very true. Well, I am sorry for what you must be going through. I hate to see marriages end. My parents have been married almost 30 years. What part of town are you folks from? I went to Kingsbury. No kidding. You know, when I was an electrician, I, I helped wire that building. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, maybe that's why we were always having so many fire drills. <laughs> no, that's why you was always having fires. <laughs> I think I better be getting back inside. Oh, hi, Betty. Oh! Is that a pecan pie? No, that is not a pecan pie. That is a bribe. I want to hear everything. He kissed her. Good thing it wasn't a mirror. I'd be saying seven years bad luck. He really kissed you. He really kissed me. Oh, here, sit down. Here. That's the pie. Tell me all about it. Why did he kiss you? Well, I, I tackled him to the floor. Oh, you didn't? She didn't, did she? What do you mean, how did it happen? It happened the usual way it happens. He liked me. Oh, my dear. Oh, at this hour? Oh, I hope it's not one of those obscene phone calls. Uh, hello. Who? Well, hello. Well, yes, Elvis, she's right here. Just having some of the homemade pecan pie that I made for her. Oh, yes. Linda, Linda, dear. Hello? Okay. Okay. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Okay. Okay. Sweet dreams. What kind of conversation is that? He said to get ready because he's coming into my life. You're not ready. I am. Wow! Oh, Elvis Presley was on my telephone. I talked to him. I talked to him. He kissed you. Oh, let me kiss you. <laughs> Oh, oh, 
check the back of my dress. Is it up? Oh, yeah, there it's fine. Thanks. Do I look okay? Oh, fine. Oh. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Hello. Hi. <laughs> well, Good evening, ladies. I'm Elvis Daddy. Ladies, uh, I bet you're Jenny and you're Linda. Jenny, and this is Linda. <laughs> Very nice to meet you, Mr. President. Well, you can call me Vernon. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, Elvis is upstairs in the shower. Would you young ladies like a nice cool drink? Well, we'd love some iced tea. Iced tea. Martha, we're going to need iced tea in here. Well, what do we go on in and step down? What are we standing around out here waiting for? I hear somebody say waiting. What are we waiting for? Well, son, your guests are about to enjoy some iced tea. Good evening, boss, how are you? Welcome to Grayson, sweetheart. What do you think? Well, I think it's uh, pretty nice for a country boy. <laughs> uh, boss, uh, let's say we give these ladies the grand tour. Ah, oh, does that include the etchings? <laughs> Good idea. Right this way, ladies and gentlemen. What you looking at there is Elvis Presley's stained glass peacock. There's Vernon's son, Elvis. Over here's a piano. See, it's got three legs. Right through these doors is a famous music room right here. Let's head on back down to the main floor. It's one of the more spiritual rooms. The kitchen. A man of deep philosophical and religious conviction. <laughs> Mr. Presley requires a very specialized diet. One that maintains his spiritual equilibrium. Right now, he'd like to have a peanut butter and banana sandwich. Bread. Bread. Butter. Butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Bananas. Nurse, you know how to make a grilled cheese sandwich? <laughs> I do, Dr. Presley. Doctor, I think you both need a doctor. I think we need to watch some nice TV. <laughs> uh, right. TV, what else do you do at a movie star's house? Bye-bye, <laughs> y'all. Have fun, boss. <laughs> now, you see? Put that in there. We got a fried butter. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> I know it is. I love it. <laughs> it must be an acquired taste, like caviar. I acquired it because we was too poor to afford anything else. My mama used to fry my sandwich so I wouldn't complain it was peanut butter again. You see, fried peanut butter is very special. You miss your mama, don't you? Yes, I do. Especially when the dogwoods come out. Those were her favorite. Mine, too. I think I would have liked your mama. I think my mama might have really liked you. Actually, I think I might really like you. I have to flip my sandwiches. Excuse me, please. <laughs> it sounds as if you must have been real happy as a boy. In spite of having peanut butter sandwiches instead of caviar. Yeah, they were good times. Real happy times. We was always singing. That's all I ever wanted to do was sing. I used to sneak away from my mom and daddy in church when I was just a little bitty guy. I'd get up there and stand up there at the choir and sing at the top of my lungs. Adawuchi, Adawuchi. I don't believe we sang Adawuchi. Sure you did. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh. <laughs> well, now that you put it that way, we did sing a lot of Adawuchi. I always wanted to sing in the gospel quartet. Boy, those guys were my favorites, my idols. Statesman and the Stamps and the Blackwood Brothers. Uh, my papa, oh, I call my grandparents Papa and Nini.